Hey guys, welcome to GB Yoga Live. My name is Charlie and in this video, we're gonna do some beginner yoga for runners. So we're going to break down some poses that are great for running. Beginner yoga poses for runners. This is what this video is designed for. And so I'm gonna use the support of a strap. If you have one handy, just grab it now and just place it to the side. If you do not have a strap, you can use a belt. If you do not have a belt, you don't need anything except for yourselves. So. I just wanted to stress the importance of yoga, especially as a complementary practice to running. So it's so awesome to be able to warm up the body and cool it down with yoga poses before and after a run. This way you're less likely to run into injury. And if you do injure yourself, your recovery time is gonna be a lot quicker if the body is just more open. And so let's get started guys. Um, join me down on your mats. Our first pose that we're gonna take for running is our downward facing dog. So palms are coming down into the earth, tucking the toes and sending the hips up high. And so coming into your down dog here, we're just gonna pedal out the legs a little, just warming up into the hamstrings, bending the knees. You can come up onto the toes and come back down, just sending the heels down to the mat. And so downward dog is just a great pose for the back of the legs. We're working into the calves, the back of the ankles, the hamstrings. And so it's just an amazing pose to bust out before you start running because it's letting the body know that we're going to use the legs. And so you can spend a few moments just stretching into the pose or you can just settle in stillness, just allowing the legs to open. And then when you're ready, we can move on to our next pose. We're gonna take the right leg up to the sky and then we're gonna bring it forward and we're gonna come into a lunge. And so the right foot's coming in between the palms here and we can either have the back knee up or off the earth or off or on the earth. So just seeing how that feels. And you can spend the time in this pose working with both variations. It can come up, you can see how that feels. You can work to squeeze the glute muscles. You're really activating the um, hip flexors there. And really pressing down into the heel of the front foot. So we're activating the underside of the front leg here. So we're working into flexibility and strength, which is great before you go for your run. And so just seeing how that feels, you can take the hips left and right. And then we can just drop the back knee down and we can just take the hands to the inside of the foot and we can work the right foot out and we can come into a lizard's lunge here. And so we can have the foot just off on an angle, just lifting the toes up and then that right knee can just start to open up. And we're just changing the stretch a little bit here, working more into the inner thigh. So just seeing how that feels again, hips can move left and right. We're just, really flossing into the muscles here. Just allowing them to open. And then we can start to walk that right foot back in. We can come up off of the back knee. Again, just moving forwards and backwards, just coming up onto the toes. We're really just warming up the body here. And then we're gonna take the palms down and we're gonna come back into our downward dog just for a moment. Again, just pedaling out the legs. And then we're gonna send the left leg up and back and then bending it and pulling it forward. Just bringing it in between the palms and then taking the lunge onto the other side. And so again, we can keep this leg up and strong, working into our strength. Or we can just drop the knee down. And just moving around, seeing what feels good, seeing what the body needs to open. Just making sure the spine is straight, head and neck are in line. Gaze can be just slightly forward. And then if you wanted to squeeze this glute muscle, really turns on the hip flexor here. 
So just deepening into our flexibility as well as strength. And then we can bring the left hand in and slowly walk that left foot out. Just coming into more of a lizard's lunge here. Just dropping down. We can even come down onto the forearms here. Just seeing what feels good. And then slowly starting to walk yourself back up. We can walk that left foot back in. And then we're going to send it back, coming into our downward facing dog. Again, just taking the hips left and right, sending the heels down to the earth. You can have a slight bend to the knees, really pushing into the palms here, stretching into the spine and the shoulders. So even though downward dog is so good for the back of the legs, we're also just working into the upper body and the shoulders here. And then we're going to come up onto the toes. We're going to take the knees down and we're just going to come back to sitting on our feet for a moment and so the next pose we're going to work into is a toe squat and then an ankle stretch so we're going to work into the feet often in yoga we just forget all about the feet but we're on them all day every day so we should send them a little bit of love so just coming forward now onto the hands and we're going to tuck the toes and then we're going to sit ourselves back and this is it, this is toe squat. And so initially it feels okay, but it's gonna kick in even now, immediately you can start to feel that stretch in the front of the toes. So just closing the eyes here and really connecting to the breath, sending the breath down into the feet. And if at any time this starts to be a little bit too much, you can just come forward onto the fingertips. You can release the pressure and then just coming straight back in. Closing the eyes, sending some love down into the feet. Even just spending a minute here, two minutes is killer, so give it a go. And then when you're ready, you can slowly just come forward onto the hands again. You can untuck the toes. And then just allow the tops of the feet to come down into the mat. So we're going to work into an ankle stretch now. So we're just going to take the hands behind us and then we're going to lift the knees up. And so we're applying pressure into the front sides of the feet here. Again, it's pretty intense. So just closing the eyes, finding the breath. And just sending some love down, just stretching into those ankles, into the tops of the feet. Two more breaths, guys. And then you're ready, just slowly lowering the knees down. Just bringing yourself forward. And then we're gonna come down onto our bums. So just kicking the legs out in front, extending them forward. And this is when you might wanna have your strap handy. So just keeping it to the side, just in case. Again, we're just going to get the flesh from the underneath and pull it to the sides so that the sit bones can really root down into the earth. We're going to take a breath and elongate the spine. And then exhale, we're going to slowly roll forward. Inhale, it's coming back up, scooping the arms up overhead, spine is tall. Exhale, coming down into our seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. And so just seeing what's accessible for you here. Maybe you can reach the heels, the toes, the shins, or if you did want to use your strap, we can just hook it round the soles of the feet. This way we can really pull the chest forward and have the shoulders back down and together instead of rounding the spine. So shoulder, shoulders are back, heart is coming down to the knees and the forehead is coming towards the toes. And then we're just going to drop the head. Paschimottanasana. And just stretching into the hamstrings, the calves. And also just the spine is getting a nice juicy stretch here. And this is another great pose that you can spend as long as you like. And I like to spend up to even five minutes here, just resting in stillness, just dissolving in stillness, connecting to the body. 
But when you are ready to move on, you can just inhale. And just peel yourself back up. Just removing the straps to the side. And then we're just gonna come down to lying on our back. And so I'm gonna show you one more pose. This is our reclined half pigeon. So coming down. And we're just gonna bring the soles of the feet to the earth here. And then we're gonna take the right knee, bringing it towards the chest. We're gonna take the ankle and place it onto the left thigh. And so we're creating a figure four here with the legs. And then we're gonna bring this left leg up. And we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna come in between. And we're gonna grab onto either the shin or just behind the thigh. And we're gonna gently pull this left leg towards the body and open this right leg. And so we're just creating a stretch in the back of the legs and the hips here. And so just finding the breath, finding some stillness in the pose. It's releasing any tension in the hips. And then we can take the pose to the other side. So just dropping that left sole of the foot down, then the right and switching it up. So the left ankles is coming on top of the right thigh and bringing that knee up and then just interlacing the hands through and grabbing hold of that front shin or the back of the thigh. And so we're just working to push this right, this left knee out and bring this right knee in towards the chest here. And that's really stretching into the left hip and the left thigh here. Just inhale and exhale. Maybe bringing that right knee a little closer. And then we can release, taking the soles of the feet down to the earth and then just coming back up to sitting. And so these poses are great if you're a runner, they're easy, accessible, beginner um, friendly poses. So give them a go, see how it impacts on your running practice, see if you boost your performance, I'm sure that it will, and it's just gonna prevent any injury, less um, injury prone hamstrings, which is a great thing, especially if you're into those more dynamic workouts. So give it a go and just let me know what you think and namaste. All right, thank you so much for joining me on your mats here, doing some beginner yoga poses for runners. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, subscribe to our channel and feel free just to leave me any comments. Let me know how you're getting along and have a beautiful day. Namaste.